Hey, Tim, as a leader, what, what do you give to those that you lead? Junk gifts and gifts that people really don't want. Junk gifts? I thought you were going to say something like time, godly wisdom, advice. Something that's cheap and they put it in the closet or throw it away or re-gift it or whatever they do with it. Yeah, I got that. Cheap gifts. That's what you're going to give to your leaders. But what kind of advice would you give to those that you're leading? Never listen to people. Never listen to people? Really? Hey, Tim, the disciples asked Jesus to teach them to pray. If you were asked this question, how would you respond? Lord, I love you. Oh, I tasered someone last week. Wait, you tased someone last week? Exactly how does someone in your position get away with that? I'm closer to God than you are. <laughs> God loves me, but not you. Wow. Hey, Tim, I got another one. Uh, do you consider yourself to be a good public speaker? I always intend good, but, but, but I don't always do good. Yeah, I hear you on that one. Uh, what do you do to, to get ready for a sermon? Never listen to people. Mm, yeah, back to that leadership principle, never listen to people. You haven't fully understood the meaning of that. Yeah, sorry, what did I miss about uh, never listen to people? <clears throat> Ma'am or sir, whichever it may be, I'd prefer you just writing me a letter if you would like or donating me a tremendous present. I was wondering, you frequently talk about connecting with others through small groups, Life Lab. Why is it so important to plug in with others? I have a man that uh, does not like me. There's a lot of men that don't like me. A lot of women too, I'm sure. Okay, what exactly does that have to do with small groups? What do you mean? Never mind. Tim, I heard you received a pretty difficult phone call this past week. They really laid into you, called you some names. Uh, what did they say? You stupid person. You idiot. You imbecile. You moron. Well, that seems pretty harsh. Was it something you did or something you said? Actually, it was Jeff's fault. I'm just trying to take the heat for him. I appreciate that, Tim. Thanks. Uh, you and Andrew work closely together. Uh, what kind of sense do you get when you work with Andrew? Uh, I don't know where he came from. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like angels, they just show up. Andrew's like an angel? That's, that's the kind of feeling you get when you're with him? There's this feeling that it instantly comes, isn't there? The heart just kind of goes up there and it's just in a shot of adrenaline or whatever you get. Really? Okay, let's, wow, who, who knew? I'll tell you. My heart melts. All right. So, Tim, I heard from Sandy that you have a special song prepared for us tonight. Unfortunately, I told him I didn't have time to do that. Oh, that's a bummer. Hey, I, I heard you got to hang out with um, our youth pastor. What's Paul? I heard you got to hang out with Paul the other day. Uh, how's he doing? I am deeply, deeply concerned. That bad, huh? Sometimes people are difficult. Oh, that's too bad, man. I know our relationship hasn't been what it used to be. And it's largely because of what I have done. Because of what you did? Exactly what did you do? Well, let's not get into that. Okay. Hey, Tim, I think I got a really good idea I just wanted to share with you. Um, I think in the cafe we have an opportunity to uh, start doing like the, the Jesus coffee drink of the day, the Jesus coffee drink of the week, something like that. We could do uh, make posters and bracelets that say WWJD. What would Jesus drink? Like one week it might be like a, a caramel macchiato, another week like an iced latte, uh, might be like, a, I don't know, a cappuccino. That might be the, the WWJD of the week. What do you think of that? That's the most ridiculous, stupid, idiotic, imbecilic right thing I've seen. That, that, how did you even get your job, for crying out loud? That's stupid. Uh, I think you hired him. Yeah, he hired me. You'll be taken to court. Me? They're gonna, there's going to be a lengthy trial. Well, hey, I think we're about out of time, uh, but just looking back over these questions and your responses, uh, is there anything you'd say to yourself? Well done, kid. You did a good job there.